Hello everyone and welcome to Doom and Death and the, oh my god it's gonna be the death of Swotar and there's gonna be volcanic eruptions and fire and Kephas shall rise. He shall rise again, Kephas. He will rise again. That is the prophecy of Doom in Swotar. It is not level synced content. I've been reading the forums after the live stream and it is a QQ fest about level sync and we're here to talk about why level sync is a good thing okay it's a good thing because it keeps a lot of content relevant i mean bear in mind that those planets that we go on are only relevant for like five six levels i mean what 28 to 32 alderanas uh is uh again uh, gonna be uh you know useless when you're sort of level 60 why would you go back to alderan hunt datacrons maybe uh, level 60, but I mean, really, why would you want to go back and do any content? Now with level sync, uh, we can go back. We can go back and do the old heroics. Uh, and a lot of people complain, oh my god, we're gonna have to group up for black hole dailies again. That was fun. It was way more fun to group up with people in the black hole than just solo it. Because right now, you just run through black hole, go to the heroic quest, and you just run through it as a solo quest and it's it's boring it's so repetitive it's so bad as a solo quest to be honest with you uh but you're never going to get hurt at level 60 you can solo it at 55 a lot of classes could do it at 55 if they were well geared but now <gasps> shock horror we're going to be scaled back down to like i guess level 53 or something like that and we're gonna have to group up oh my god we're gonna are playing an mmo we're gonna have to interact with other people oh my god this is gonna get dislikes but if you're playing an mmo and you don't want to interact with other people you got plenty of story content you have nine chapters worth of knights of the fallen empire to do solo why do you give a shit about one or two daily areas well section x as well had a heroic quest but you did need to group up for still regardless of level because puzzle at the end so there you get two daily areas that you have to group up for now it's not a huge issue because in the other daily areas you don't yavin zyost i will be interested to see oricon that'll be an interesting one I still want to group up for Oricon. Uh, if you're interested in doing the Corrupted Bothrian Beast, oh, that video that got all, gets all the views, people still can't kill it solo because you can't interrupt things because they're bad, right? You can't kill it, you're bad. That's the thing. That, that's the only explanation for it. You can't interrupt an ability. You can't stun the, uh, what's the other dude called? The Subteroth, Corrupted Elder Subteroth. You can't stun him. It's going to be fun again. Daily is going to be intense. We're going to be out in the world. We're going to not sit there and relax. Semi AFK. Put your face on the keyboard while out in the world. No, we're going to have to be intense again. Good stuff. I like it. I like it. I'm a big fan of that. Um, it does mean that, again, we're going to have to be careful when we're doing heroic quests and we're going through stuff solo. Again, we are... It's just going to make better players. It is going to make the player base better because we can't just out level something now. And just out leveling it is not skill. Okay, it's not, it doesn't require any skill to just out level it. If you're that concerned about it and you can't do it, you can always buy a level 60. You're going to get one for free. Uh, so there you go. It's going to be, you know, the, uh, the level sinks. So it's going to, it's going to sink you to a little bit above it. Okay, it's going to take you above the level that you're doing it's not going to take you you know to like level 14 on drome and cast and people are saying oh my god i won't be able to solo drome and cast again it's like you could solo most of those heroics on drome and cast to be honest you could solo most of them at level 14 15 okay it's not going to downscale you beyond that so most of those heroics were easy especially if you you still had things like your best in slot color crystals now those heroics are going to be so easy to solo. They were easy. They're still easy to solo. You can solo most of them at level at level 10. You know, level... Not level 10. Level 10, you can solo the planetary heroics, the starter planet ones. But level sort of 14, 15, soloing them easily. The heroic 2s. Heroic 4s you couldn't solo, but heroic 4s are being converted to heroic 2s. So with enough skill... And bear in mind, you're not losing any abilities. So a level 60 downscale to level 18 is still going to have an advantage over a level 18 and it also opens up those heroics because all of a sudden you've got 
almost the entire player base. They should put a group finder or something in there. At least something in group finder for the heroic. Maybe have like a a highlighted daily heroic or something like that that you know you could queue for in the group finder. I'm guessing it would be tactical. I don't think they're going to be bad. The heroic too, so I guess you could just match anybody to that. So it might be a more difficult form of tactical flashpoint, which I'm all for. I'm all for. I mean, we, we don't want... It'll also make Conquest interesting and make Conquest actually skill-based because it's like, kill 50 guys on Alderaan for a level 60 was a joke. I'm not doing that. Fuck that. Now you're like, oh, kill 50 guys on Alderaan, they're going to pose a threat to you because you're going to get downscaled to like level 35 or something like that now. But you will still have all your level 60 abilities, you'll still have all your level 60 utilities. I assume you'll still have your set bonuses when they come in, they'll still proc. So you're still going to have the advantage over someone who's level 18, who's genuinely level 18 and you're downscaled to level 18. Again, it's a similar system, it is very much like for like the uh, Guild Wars 2 level sync system and uh, other games are using this a lot it seems to be the way to go world of warcraft has it for the time walker dungeons uh you know, scale you down to level 70 for burning crusade and they scale you down to level 80 for wrath of the lich king ones uh you also have uh, uh final fantasy 14 a realm reborn has level sync as well it is optional in final fantasy 14 though uh, it is a button that you press swotor it's not going to be optional that's the only thing but again Having everyone on a level playing field makes sense. I like the fact that it isn't optional and a lot of people keep queuing, it's going to be the death of Swotar. No, not having raids, not having new raids is going to be the death of Swotar. Not having any new PvP is going to be the death of Swotar. Not level sync. I don't like level sync. I think if you're, a, if you're a decent player and you're good at playing your class, you don't really, you don't, it does, it's not an issue. It's not a huge issue. You're not going to be walking in and face rolling everything, which is good, it's what we don't want, it gets you bored, it's boring when you're just face rolling and there's no chance of you dying, you know, doing, you know, old flashpoints and things like that, when there's a chance you can die, it makes them more interesting as well, it makes them more intense, so hopefully it makes leveling more intense, I did see the gameplay that he did, and he did kill a bunch of strongs and elites, uh, so I guess you could solo it, at like level 65. Bear in mind when you start taking into account things like set bonuses, your gear probably will be scaled down as well. I imagine that would be scaled as well with your uh, with your level so you can't just out gear it as well. But again you'll have set bonus procs, you're gonna have more utilities available than a level 18 so I mean it will be, it does mean also you can play with your friends as well. If you've got a friend who's level 40 and you're level 20 you can play together. You know your level 20 friend can come to the level 40 friend can go to a level 20 planet and still get XP as if they were level 40. That's one of the other things that we missed out in the previous video is that you get XP based on the level that you are, not the level you're being downscaled to. So you're level 60, you'll get XP as a level 60. Uh, I, I, you'll be downscaled to level 18 but you'll still be earning XP as if you were level 60. So it's not a total total downgrade it's going to be a thing where you're you know you're doing the uh you're still going to get rewarded as well the gear rewards are going to be they're going to be i think common crystals as well which is the new basic comms uh basically so uh and you'll also get a box that you're going to get a choice it'll either be like the the mercenary one that you had had a healer dps box and it will contain level appropriate gear i'm guessing it won't contain anything good at end game but you know for leveling characters you can just pick a planet maybe they should do that with the group finder is have a rotating heroic that gives you maybe extra crystals you know or maybe have a, a chain quest series of heroics maybe have like three alderan heroics uh you do it in the same group you get extra extra commendations or something like that you get the extra crystals should we say now not commendations i don't know how the commendation conversion is going to go i don't imagine they'll let you keep the ultimate comms as ultimate comms i don't imagine they'll let you do that if they do a they're massive idiots and b get stacking ultimate comms okay just make sure you're stacking those ultimate comms but anyway that is all for this video Level sync, not a disaster. Seen it in other games. It's never killed other games. It didn't kill Guild Wars 2. It didn't kill Final Fantasy 14. It didn't kill World of Warcraft. Looks only in dungeons. And it will not kill Swotar. So shut the fuck up, QQ people on the forums. And, you know, you just want to face roll stuff. Fair enough. Maybe think about something else. I mean, the game's not difficult as it is. 
you still you just got to think about what you're doing and maybe use some defensive cooldowns and have a healer companion. Every companion can be a healer. Just pick the one you like. Pick the one with the nicest voice, and you know. Pick Kira, obviously. Let Kira heal you with her double-bladed lightsaber. She can culto shell you and things like that. There you go. So thank you for joining me for this video, and we'll see you again soon, and goodbye.